。好，二十廿一條咧就係有關於一個蒸騰作用嘅實驗嘅，佢就係想去比較翻啦，熱面熱底啦，喺唔同光度嘅情況底下啦，佢哋個蒸騰作用嘅快慢比較啫。咁而家第二十條呢，就問返我哋咯，要我哋呢睇返 A、B、C、D 啦，邊一句係能夠解釋得到呢？喺熱面熱底佢哋嗰個蒸騰作用速度嘅分別嘅。咁啊，留意下啦。咁啊，呢條題目呢，今次佢就當 M C 啫。咁有陣時佢可以當係長題咁出㗎嘛。咁啊，佢又話 state and explain the difference in the transpiration rate through the upper and lower epidermis shown in the graph。咁其實係咪就係一條短題啊？咁你要點答啊？通常兩分嘅話，第一分呢就要講咗個分別先。第二分呢，先去解釋返。咁以前呢，都拍過、呃、一啲考試技巧嘅短片，都教過大家嘅。咁當然啦，就唔好淨係話佢哋 different 囉，你要講到明邊個高邊個低囉。咁所以啦，要講個 data analysis 嘅技巧呢，你睇返幅圖都知道啦。原來呢，就係、是、葉底嘅蒸騰作用嘅速度呢，係比起葉面呢。位置高嘅 A 咧，佢就話啦，近葉底嘅葉肉細胞啦，嗰度咧就有多啲嘅氣室。咁其實啦，多啲嘅氣室咧，係只攞嚟做個 gas exchange 咧快啲嘅啫。咁就唔關咧蒸騰作用事嘅。咁所以 A 咧就錯咗啦。B 咧就話葉面咧係會曬得多啲陽光嘅。如果呢個邏輯係正確嘅話咧，應該倒翻轉頭係葉面嘅失水係大過葉底嘅失水嘅。但係而家唔係啊嘛，而家我哋係見到啦，葉底失水多過葉面啊嘛，咁所以 B 又錯咗啦。而 C 就話咧，葉底嘅温度咧係低啲喎。咁如果葉底温度係低啲嘅話啦，咁啊自不然咧應該係講緊失水咧都係會少啲嘅。咁但係而家佢又係講葉底多啲啊失水啊嘛，係咪？所以成條題目都係考蒸騰作用係乜嘢？佢係一個喺植物表面嘅失水嘅過程。而失嘅水分咧，係以一個水蒸氣嘅方式去流失嘅。而呢個 water vapor 咧，就係喺嗰個氣孔嗰度咧，去擴散出去。所以越多氣孔嘅話咧，就會令到咧多啲嘅 surface area 俾啲 water vapor 去 diffuse。咁所以答案咧，其實就係 D 啦。因為葉底係少啲氣孔，既然少啲氣孔嘅話啦，咁即係話 water loss 嘅速度咧。就係、是、會慢一啲。Question twenty and twenty one. We are investigating the transpiration rate through the upper and lower epidermis of a leaf vary with the light intensity. So you can see that from the graph, in different light intensity, we can get the water loss rate of the upper epidermis and the lower epidermis. So for question twenty, is talking about options A, B, C, D. Which one can help us to explain the difference in the transpiration rate through the upper and lower epidermis? Before I would like to talk about this MC, I would like to talk about that. Can we make it as a short question? What if I would like to make it as a short question? I may change it to be state and explain the difference in transpiration rate through the upper and lower epidermis shown in the graph. So of course. The first step you need to tell me is the difference. Let me talk about the difference. Actually, there's the data analysis skills for this question, and it's found that the rate of respiration through the lower epidermis is higher than that of the upper epidermis. And then for the second mark, what we need to talk about is the reason why there is such phenomenon, and that is the question in twenty. So option A, the mesophyll layer near the lower epidermis has more. Air space. It is not the reason because for the air space, that's the way for the gas exchange. So that's why when the gas diffuses into the stomata and then go into the air space, so it provides a large space for the gas to diffuse to different mesophyll cells. So technically, it's nothing about the transpiration. And for option B, the upper epidermis is more exposed to the light. The upper epidermis is directly illuminated by the light. Yeah, I agree. But if it is the case that due to the high light intensity, the upper epidermis should lose more water. But what we can see from the graph is that it should be a higher water loss in the lower epidermis, but not in the upper epidermis. So that's why B is wrong. And for C. The air temperature below the leaf is lower. Option C may be related to the option B because upper epidermis is more exposed to the light, so that's why they are directly illuminated. So that's why the temperature on the upper epidermis may be a bit higher. But it cannot help us to explain why there is a higher rate of transpiration 
in the lower epidermis. We need to talk about the concept checking in this question. So the first concept is talking about the definition of transpiration. The water loss in the form of water vapor on the plant surface, for example, root stem leaves, and the water vapor, they will diffuse through the stomata from the leaves and to the atmosphere. So that's why if there are more stomata, it will need to a faster diffusion of the water vapor from the leaf to the atmosphere. So that's why the answer is D. The upper epidermis has fewer stomata. So that's why the water loss will be lower.